All right, y'all. We had the tropical storm came through yet last night late and into the wee hours of the morning. So Hopi and I are going to check on the cows and ride the fence lines, make sure everything is still good. No trees are down. The fences are still up and that all the cows are good. I know uh, it went right over my in-laws down in Florida and, uh, but they're all good. It wasn't, wasn't too bad. So everybody's safe and, and the properties aren't damaged down there, or at least theirs wasn't. So Hopi and I are going to go check on these cows. So here are the cows. The fences look good so far. And uh, wow, what a difference the rain makes. Things are already starting to green up. We're very thankful for that. But uh, right up here are the cows. Let's ride up here and see what they're doing. Looks like they're just laying around much, like a bunch of fatties. They are, uh, are they sitting right up here, Hopi? Mm -hmm. You see them? Mm -hmm. You wanna ride up and look at them? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go check them out. Here are the bees. I haven't showed y'all my bees in a while. I haven't opened them up in a, probably six weeks or so either. I should probably open them up and check on them and see what they're doing and see what they've got going on. Don't you think, Hopi? Mm-hmm. Watch out so they don't sting you. Yeah, definitely watch out so we don't sting me. I'll have yeah. to get some, I'll bring some smoke up here and smoke them a little bit. Yeah. Put my bee suit and my gloves on, right? Yeah. Yeah. But when I do no, you won't come with me for that. That's dangerous. So, okay. Well, there are the bees. The They're just flying around. To the child. Hey, Daddy. There's Gertie. And there's number 30. And Cookie is bound to be somewhere up here. She, uh, She's laying. I see her. I'll, I'll come down here and show you her in just a second. Yeah. So she's laying down there by herself. Yeah. On the right side. On the right? You are right. On the right side of the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Let's ride down here and look at Cookie. There's Cookie sitting right there on the other side of our little picnic table. She's laying there like a big fatty. <laughs> Just doing her thing. There's Jerry. Let's see if you see Jerry right there. Yep. All the cows are seem Daddy, to be happy and hanging out. Jerry and Cookie cat. Jerry is Cookie's calf, isn't he, Hopi? Mm-hmm. So, Jerry is Cookie's calf, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. But does, does he still nurse? Say nope. Nope. We milk her, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Cookie is our milk cow. Yeah. We, we did our out when we went on and put her back in when we went home. That's right. We pull uh -huh. her out and milk yeah. her and then put her back in when we're done milking yeah. her, right? Yeah. She's a good cow, isn't she? Yeah. Is she sweet? Mm-hmm. Yep. Are you wearing your really warm, long sleeve dress out today? Yes. I think that might even be a pajama dress, is it? Yes. Is it a gown or a dress? It's a pajama dress. Oh, nice. Okay. It's your pajama dress. Yeah. And she's got her long pants on and her Crocs, so she is and, ready. And a bandana. And a bandana. So she is dressed for checking cows. All right, let's uh, let me ride over here and look at the garden. I don't want to ruin Jenna's garden uh, tour video for later in the week, but uh, we might just do a drive by of that because uh, I want to see what it's doing after the rain. So it looks like the wind blew our chairs over in the garden yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see any other damage other than that. Everything else looks great. Or I say yesterday, but I guess it was either early this morning or last night, but not during the day. Let's just, just drive across here, Hopi, and see what we think, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's not dead. Let's see. I can't start the four-wheeler and drive to be at the same time. There we go. Driving with my left hand. Better, 
aren't they, baby girl? Did you see that limb fall, Hoopy? That was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna ride down here. I'm gonna show y'all something I always think is pretty cool. It, it, it's just like, it's breathtaking nearly every time. We're coming down from the garden, down towards the barn. Cruising along, hopefully y'all can hear me with this wind and these four-wheeler brakes squeaking, but we're coming around the corner, coming around the corner starting to see a little bit of you and then all of a sudden it's like boom. there is a crazy beautiful view like let's see I'll stop right here right here so from there the field you see is our hay field all the way down that bottom field is our neighbors. The mountain range is back there. All the way to here and beyond. It is like the prettiest view. It's, we had some friends come by the other day who've been watching, actually yesterday, some friends came by and uh, they've been watching our videos and they were like, they couldn't believe the view because uh, they said that you know, the, the pictures and video just don't do it justice. You can't really, it, it's so spectacular that until you actually see it in person, it's just crazy. So another update is these pigs. Yesterday, they were out again. Weren't they, Hopi? Mm -hmm. Come here. You me to pick you up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so yesterday the pigs were out again, weren't they? What a pain. So what we did, we'll walk down here and show what we did, right? The little pigs are like, that fence is so hot, I can't believe they go under it. Anyway, down here at the bottom, the woven wire was uh, a little bit high. I hope y'all can hear me. The pigs are like so antsy. But no, the, the, the woven wire was a little higher. So the little piglets, it wasn't like the visual block. So what we did was we took some old boards from a barn, or not a barn, but a shed that we tore down and screwed them to the post going across the bottom where it's like a visual block and the electric fence and the woven wire, which also is a visual block. They have not been out since. So thank God. Hopefully that works and we don't have to run the, the boards all the way up the side over here by the neighbor's property, but uh, we might end up doing that just as a precaution. But uh, I think I've got one hog sold so that guy can go in the freezer. So that'll be good. Um, just trying to figure out. Yeah, they are really, look at the difference in there, y'all. They, <laughs> they, they clean up, they make a mess, but they clean up at the same time. It's crazy. They just root, like all these trees, the thorn trees, they're rooting them up. They are tearing them up, which is awesome because they need to come out of there. And uh, hopefully we can get these little pigs trained Get rid of the big pigs, little pigs trained, and not have to deal with all this pigs getting out anymore. And I can actually move them across the property with regular portable fencing like I wanted to do. If not, we may sell these guys and uh, get some different uh, genetics. Because we really would like to get some old spots. They're a pasture of pig, but they, they clean up a little bit too. But And we have goats. Yeah, the goats, hope he's saying. And we have goats. Our Narragansett turkeys are free ranging and uh, the goats are eating the brush that we cut out of the pig pen. We had to clear the fence along the neighbor's property to run our electric across. And uh, it's our fence, but it just joins their property. So we've cleaned it up a little bit and piled the brush there to burn. I've got a lot of burning to do this winter. So yeah, but anyway, I think that, uh, anything else we need to talk about hoping? Huh? No? Are you my cow check-in partner? Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up this video, y'all. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Um, 
leave a comment below, please, and uh, let us know what you think about what we've got going on. Our last video, we got a lot of interaction from you all, and we, we love that. We appreciate it. And uh, also, uh, I see more of you all are sharing our videos on your social media. We really appreciate that as well. That, that helps uh, get us more views, which enables us to, to make more videos. So we will catch y'all later. Thank you so much.